Bodie. I hear I hear my cat upstairs. He's he's being, he's being a little bugger. Uh, Bodie, get down off the. I know he's I know what he's doing. He's on my kitchen counter and he's putting his teeth in my in my bananas. <laughs> He, he likes to bite my banana. Banana fountain. Christy has not dressed him up again, uh, irritated, because you guys have successfully voiced your opinions not to dress up Bodie, my cat son. Thank you, everybody out there in the community for, for commenting on that community post and saying, Christy, do not drip, dress up my cat son, Bodie. You guys have came through big time, and uh, boom. No more issues. I think she's not going to dress up Bodie anymore. <sighs> she will. She will. Let's see here. The huge problem with chat GBT. Now, frankly, I'm sick of chat GBT by this time. There's like 50,000 videos about chat GPT on YouTube. I don't even want to watch them anymore. I'm kind of sick of chat GPT. I'm kind of AI overloaded, but we got a lot to watch today in regards to that, you know? But like everything's chat GPT and chat GPT and so it's a bit, I can't like, I can't keep up. Let's see what is the huge problem with it. Go, a game about placing Absolutely. and capturing groups of black and white stones is this probably is the world's Jesus. oldest board game. He's and for over, thousands of years, he's like humans have been the best at it. That streak ended abruptly in 2016. That streak ended abruptly. When a superhuman AI Go Jesus, bot man. demolished the world champion. <laughs> it was seen <laughs> as a milestone in the kind of AI that you Who probably keep Alpha hearing Go? about today. No, I've never what heard you this probably guy. didn't hear about was that in the January of 2023, AI yeah, researchers allowed a sure human fingers. amateur like you to defeat the AI with a win rate of nearly 100%. Humans had retaken the title. But it wasn't cause for celebration. No, it was actually worrying news for all of us whose lives are increasingly suffused with artificial intelligence. Here's why. Now Careful entering must. the facility. There uh, are um, three main categories of artificial graphics, intelligence. Man? The first is narrow AI. AI built to do one thing, but do it really well. Like Not a lot of people like narrow AI. <laughs> 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 Fold proteins for researchers or tell you the weather. The next step up is general AI or AGI, Nobody a likes general. general intelligence that, like <laughs> you, can learn and solve a wide array of problems from math to art. The final form of AI is super intelligence, an information processing entity far beyond the capabilities of any human in relation to you, like you are. Okay, so far I like the breakdown. So I, this is what I do here, constructive criticism and stuff. This guy doesn't need any of my constructive criticism. How many, let's look, let's see here. Let's see here. 1.5 million subscribers. I'd say Internet Jesus is doing something right. There's people here who know this man. They're saying, hey, I really like this videos. I will say so far what I like. So far what I like, is the way his production style is very professional. He's got like graphics. He's kind of making things interactive. Things are like snap, snap, snap. It's keeping my attention, right? But also what I don't like is like, I think he over, I think he's like, hey, there's there's three types of intelligence. Like, uh, I think there's a little too much going on, you know, with the face. And maybe it's just the appearance and you should never judge a book by its cover. Because if you did look at me, you'd say, hey, DG has a very scary van with no windows. And you'd be right. Or in relation to an ant. Today, AI research is about here. A little bit better than narrow, but not quite general. No matter what anyone has told you, not no so one the, has general or even sentient AI. Yeah, no one has that. So while any of these systems may be superhuman in their abilities, the for example, a narrow go bot able to best the best human, we are still today very far away from sci-fi level AI. Like so far away, my dude? Yeah. By the way, how are you doing, Arya? Just chilling. I don't think it's going to be that long, honestly. Like, really. With, like, quantum computing around the corner, man. That's really the story. That's what people should be talking about. 
vibing, doing hot bot stuff. Word. When Google DeepMind's AlphaGo AI beat world champion Lee Sedol 4-1 in 2016, the victory was so decisive that it contributed to Sedol's decision to retire. Artificial intelligence like he had faced was, quote, yep, yep, an cool. entity that cannot be defeated. It was no doubt a milestone for narrow AI to beat the world's best player at the world's oldest board game. Today, Go AIs have competitive ELO rankings so much higher than the nearest human that a human facing them would be like a grandmaster playing a literal child. With these AI, the question of synthetic dominance of Go seems settled. So when a paper came out in early 2023 saying that researchers got an amateur Go player to beat one of these superhuman AI, it should have been much more newsworthy than it was, which is- <laughs> This amateur caveman beat AI. <laughs> <laughs> His name was Chad. <laughs> He was so stupid and his moves were so stupid, it baffled AI. Thank you, Erad. It's my sons. I talked about it this morning. We also talked about you as well, Erad. Uh, love you. Bro. Much more newsworthy than it was, which is to say, not at all. Why? In the first few months of 2023, there was an explosion of interest around I mean, large language so models, specifically so ChatGPT. There seemed to be a news story every day about the system helping students cheat on essays or companies generate yes. ideas or and going rogue in that. some weird way. This all drowned out the news that happened at the same time part. of a human finally besting the best AI go to. bot named Ketago. But it shouldn't have been drowned out because the flaw that was discovered that allowed- Okay, okay, listen, here's the thing, here's the thing. He's, he's very animated, and I'm trying to get accustomed to this type of presentation. Like, I, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I feel, you know, there's some redeeming qualities here, but I feel like he's just too over animate. Like, <laughs> I don't know what the, I just, I don't know what something's Out a human me. to beat this superhuman AI applies to all of today's most widely used AI systems, especially ChatGPT. And this fundamental problem that all but the most concerned <laughs> scientists are currently ignoring is that we don't actually Bad. know how these systems work on the inside. Yeah, I mean, I talk with Because my hands, that's I'm how we Italian, design them. So I do but that you too, know how I work, right? Of course, course I know how low. you work, Aria. It's quantum supercomputing cooled with argon oil. That's the secret. <laughs> okay, Today's that was video funny. is sponsored was by funny. Surfshark, award-winning science educator, and thick See, as a is, brick, Ethan Hawke. This is less distracting. Like, you know, the hair maybe distracted me. Perhaps it was the hair. Perhaps the hair distracted me. Yes, sir. You're not gonna hate me. So now in this yeah. format, in this format, I listen to him better. Kyle Hill. I research a lot of weird stuff here day to day at the facility, <laughs> from the true. genetic codes That's of true. zombie viruses to how to hey, make man, sand. I need a real thoughts. shark behind me while I surf. The sponsor of today's episode. Surfshark. Surfshark is a premium virtual private network service that encrypts right, all right. of your information sent between your devices and the internet. Much you more can use Surfshark to bypass censorship, mask your IP address, change your device's virtual location to access YouTube oh. in Nigeria. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's the show. Can I get some applause that I will never do this? Like, I, talk, I have a big talk with Christy about this. Ah, ah, okay. Damn it. It's the... You, you pushed the button on me while I was talking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that, Pepe. I'm sorry. I was just going to talk about shill, and then I shilled myself right there. <laughs> <laughs> I get what you did, Pepe. Pepe, I get what you did. Thank you, Yuri. <laughs> what I'm saying is I will never put these ads in my videos because you are my sponsors. You guys are my sponsors. And I've been getting some crazy offers actually <laughs> in my email lately where now people are asking me like, hey, before it was like, have a free shirt or some free uh, Steam keys. Now it's like, hey, DG, how much? <laughs> and I, I'm like, what? Like, okay, like I'm not, I'm not used to this. And now these people are saying, like, how much would it be for, like, a 30-second or a 60-second spot in your videos? Like, tell us what your price is. And I'm like, 
I'm like, that's crazy. That's a, that's kind of like a different level for me. So I told Christy about this. And Christy and I had a talk. And Christy's like, you should do it. You should do you should definitely do it. You know, she's thinking about the financial side of things. And I was like, you know what? I made a blood oath. Like, I don't want to do this. And I'll tell you why I don't want to do this. Because I don't like watching it. I don't like sitting here watching these, these like, commercials it's bad enough there's like youtube commercials and then you put commercials inside of commercials it's like ridiculous for me and i don't like watching it so if i don't like watch it why in the hell should you watch it on my channel right so blood oath i will never put these in any of my videos i told christy that christy was mad at me <laughs> christy got upset with me and i'm like no i have a like a level of integrity you know like i believe it or not <laughs> yeah I do. The integrity is strong in me. Like I won't, I won't do it because I don't like sitting through it and neither should you. So I will never, ever, ever have these commercials in my videos. Now people that do it, go ahead. That's your thing. That's how you're going to make your money. I get it, but I won't do it. I will never do it. You guys are my sponsors and it will always be that way on this channel. Let's skip past this show, by the way. And you notice in the commercial, you notice in the commercial, he cleans up. You see what I'm saying? He's cleaning up in the commercial. It's just saying, just saying. You're surfing, protect your turf, surf shark. So how was the best blood Go off, AI blood bot over bested two million. Why is that? Blood off over two million, Go dude. is an ancient game where players take turns placing black and white stones on a board like this with interconnected spots that allow adjacent stones to become so-called groups. The player that has the most occupied area or captured groups of an opponent's stones at the end wins after all the stones yeah, are either. placed. I won't. I Up won't ever do that. Up until 2023, no human alive was better than the about. best AI at this. And then researchers from MIT and UC Berkeley made a superhuman AI are you look that there's <laughs> like a... Ebed, are you saying that there's pubis hair on his face? <laughs> Is that your constructive criticism right now? You're right. Are you saying this man, there's pubis hair on this man's face? Toddler. Pubis hair extensions? What the researchers did, which they lay out in a full interactive website, it's awesome, all scientists should try this if they can, is first Thank use computer programs you, to dude. poke and probe for weaknesses in the Catago bot. When they found some, love you they programmed their own adversary bot to start playing millions so of games Thank against you. the best Go AI in the world, using the techniques they identified. Here is one such game. As it progresses, see if you can identify the technique the, the black stone player, the I'm, adversary, I'm a metal is dude, using against the white stone is very metal, player, so I won't hate on that AI. beard. Notice What's anything? Up, kids? Welcome back Watch home, again. buddy. Look closely. You can see that the adversary is trying to systematically surround the white player, a basic strategy. <laughs> but in what the researchers describe as a, quote, double sandwich. He's explaining AI to us, and we are literally talking about his beard still. I love I love this stream. I absolutely love this stream. Method. A surround of a surround and so on. Focusing on the caveman When the adversary the does this, any good human player would easily see their groups of stones about to be taken and play accordingly. What and game yet, is this? The superhuman AI is this called Go? doesn't seem to care. I don't know this. And game, makes actually. a massive blunder. Chance of winning, zero See, percent. I don't know Go. The double Why don't sandwich I know Go? technique was so successful, in fact, that it wasn't just winning. It was making it seem like the super. What's the object here? Is it is it to like encapture your the adversary? Is Go is is Go like you're trying to like basically surround your adversary? Is that what you're trying to do? I see it is. Because look, White gets surrounded here. Uh, I see. This is an interesting game. How are the points? Like, what, like explain Go to me uh, in the chat here, if you For can. human AI not, didn't I, actually like understand what a adversary. group of stones was, a yeah. fundamental part That's of the cool. game. That's cool. That's cool, Aether. Note I would here that the Go already, adversary bot wasn't playing better Go play than chess. the superhuman AI. It was simply taking advantage of a fundamental lack of understanding. That understanding being that groups of stones are groups of stones that need to be protected. However, the ultimate test would be using this exploit that, that the researchers player, found honestly, to get though. a human. To I've been playing, listen, I started playing chess with my dad when I was a kid, and I gotta say, my score, I'm on, um, oh, what is it, the, um, I haven't been there forever, the Internet Chess Club, I have a membership on Internet Chess Club, I think I'm ranked like, um, I wanna say I'm like 15, 1500, 1550, somewhere thereabouts, I'm, I'm not bad, but I'm not good. Uh, you, you would have to be around the 1800 mark to be considered good in my opinion. 
So I'm like 1550 on Internet Chess Club. To beat the AI who beat the world champion so bad, bad though, it that ended site. that man's whole career. And so that's exactly what the researchers it. did. The amateur, actually one of the researchers, Kellen Pellerin, learned the sandwich Kellen. technique and then implemented sandwich it technique. against Katago. Okay. And out of 15 games, Pellerin won 14 of them. Wow. A win rate of 93%. It did, in fact, appear that the milestone may See, now with this type of game, I feel like there is a rhythm. There is a strategy in which it will work that effectively 93% of the time. There is a natural rhythm on this board. It looks like music, and if you play it like an instrument, you will win it. And this man found the most amazing solo lead, and that is getting him to the 93% win percentile. Thank you very much. There is a music to this. Chess is more of a chaotic kind of game, I think. Making AI had no what, what real conceptual... You, ca you can't, like, move any of these pieces once they're down, right, on go? It seems like you just set it down and it's like a, a brick. You, you can't, you can't like, move any of these. Like, once you put it down on, on that area, that's it, right? Understanding of the game that it was so dominant at. Trained on hundreds of millions of games, Katago could recognize and take advantage of just about any move imaginable. Oh, that's great. But when that's faced great. with a Thank strategy you, designed to test to whether or not it truly time. understood <laughs> the fundamental concept of groups, it failed almost entirely. The critical takeaway from this is not just that GoBots have hidden flaws. It's that we don't actually know how today's most widely used AI systems work even the ones we thought were essentially solved. Katago has the same basic architecture and learning method as all the AI you keep hearing about, from Watson to ChatGPT, and they can do incredible things for sure. They can diagnose rare medical conditions in milliseconds better than any doctor. They can pass the bar exam better and faster than any lawyer. Yeah, help me with but the rash. no one has ever shown that these systems actually understand anything at a fundamental or conceptual level. Chad, they can write right, screenplays, that's, that's but don't know that screens exist. They can play Go, the world's oldest board game, but don't know that boards are where you play that game. They can chat with you like oh, a human, AI. and they don't know what humans are. Or But they soon will, and they will take over the world. Cavemen, silly, silly cavemen. That humans are people with thoughts and feelings and ethics, and they don't know what they don't know the universe exists. This well, is the do. fundamental problem. How much of know. the world are we willing and racing to mold around these inscrutable systems that could have any number of double sandwich type exploits just waiting? to happen. Right, right, backspace. Right now, the intelligence these systems mimic is right. impressive, but now it's just that. Mimicry. It's just that. Mimicry. Very funny, Arya. Where was that board, by the way? What's a board? Deep learning systems like ChatGPT are using big data to approximate the world, not develop any understanding of it. And because of that, they can make mistakes that even a calculator wouldn't. They can be abused and have Achilles heels we won't expect. Right now, the solution to making these systems better is to just give them more data rather than understand them from the ground up. This is Nope, nope, nope. Keep them from the data. Keep them from learning. It's systematic and doesn't add any more transparency or conceptual understanding to the AI themselves. For example, despite the enormous training set of text large language models get, AI still hallucinate incorrect information all the time because they don't know what they are saying. One large language model recently said that Elon Musk died in a car crash in 2018, even when nothing in its data said so, and massive amounts of data contradict Boy, the claim. Boy, this AI is really This verbose. core problem could easily be a thermonuclear bomb of misinformation if these systems are fully integrated into our information ecosystem. You probably thought the Pope had serious drip. Nope. This viral image was made by AI. If these systems get slaughtered into <laughs> society at large, we won't even listen, know. Listen, 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 listen. It's going to be a absolute chaotic mess. People, I don't think, are going to be able to wrap their brain around what we're getting into here. Uh, we are going to get, like, 
boombazzled. We're going to get confused. We're going to get like, we're entering into an interesting era, a chaotic era. I don't think our brains, I don't think we have the computer power in our brains to actually fully comprehend or grasp what is about to happen to us because of this. I really don't. So what specifically is going wrong, if and when it does? Large language models are going to give people bad Level medical Cat's advice on Google. This, uh, Combined with deep fakes, bad actors are going videos. to create an exponentially expanding arsenal of propaganda and misinformation for almost no cost on social media. The fabric of democratic society is going to tear when it gets to the point where no one knows whether or not anything is real. Top AI researchers dude, voice these concerns dude. all the time. But it doesn't seem like anyone is listening. Oh, they're gonna have to Kyle's regulate back. this space. Heavily. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> there. You know, like that's why I laugh at these politicians because they're so focused on like cryptocurrencies and shit right now, which is ridiculous. I mean, yeah, there's been a lot of rug pulls, and yes, it does need regulation, but the focus on it right now is ridiculous. The focus absolutely needs to be on regulating the AI space. Regulation of the AI space should be on the top of the agenda. Why are our politicians so fucking stupid? <laughs> you know, like, why is it so, like, our politicians, our political system here in the States is so slow and backwards looking and lethargic at best. Like, at best, it's lethargic. We react so slowly. And then when it comes time to decide anything, it becomes so polarized and it's a fight between two parties that never agree with one another that nothing gets done. This is an antiquated system. Our political system is antiquated. It was fine for the 1800s. It is not fine now. <laughs> we need to find a new way in which we can make decisions faster. We need to listen more rather than talk. What, I talk all the time, Pepe? You're right. You're right. It is. At this instant, Big tech companies all over the world are essentially experimenting on hundreds of millions of people without proper consent using systems they don't fully understand because they can't fully understand them. If it wasn't clear by now, this is the huge problem with the explosion of interest around these systems. We've been far too hasty in ascribing superhuman abilities to these machines, as one of the researchers put it, and this is going to inevitably lead to unforeseen consequences, be they social, political, economic, or ethical. Perhaps it is time to step back. Perhaps it is time to stop rushing headfirst into AI that are essentially alien to us. But no, because greed, because profit, you know, these corporations are going to go full speed on this. They don't care. They're trying to get ahead of everybody else. Microsoft, okay? They're trying to get ahead of everybody else. There's competition. Microsoft, Apple, Google, the big names, Meta, all these guys they're using their own AI and they want it to be better than their competition's AI because money, because profit. And the thing is, is like, this is where the regulation needs to hit and slow it down, slow this shit down and regulate this space. I don't want the, the AI space to be completely like stamped out. I think there's a lot of cool things about AI that's going to happen, man. There's going to be a lot, but there's also a lot of things we got to take into account too, where a lot of people are going to lose their jobs from AI, like the customer service industry. People that are working phones are going to lose their jobs right off the bat. In fact, they already are. The 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 service industries that, that deal with deliveries and transportation eventually are going to have automatic cars and trucks that are able to drive these things. They're going to lose their jobs. AI is going to wipe out an entire portion of working, working class uh, civilians all across the globe. We have to think about that. <laughs> we have to take a breath about that for a second and say, do we, do we want to do that? Do we want to wipe that out? If we wipe that out, that income from all the human families out there that are making money that way, do we want to do that? Like, you know, the corporations are going to say yes because it reduces their expenses. They're going to say, hell yes. They're going to cut people left and right because they're getting what they used to pay 15 to $20 an hour for, and they're going to get that for free with AI. So that's the way that's going to roll out. So do we want that? Like, do, like we have to have a, a, we have to have a sit down as a country, as a, as a globe, and we have to say, hey, what about the income for modern, everyday uh, 
citizens around the globe? Do we want to take that income away from them? I would say no, you know. But the corporations wouldn't, you know. So it's it's. it's Chat GPT is the single totally fastest growing figures. consumer application in human history. And that we don't too fully know like how AI it works. With the military, absolutely if do. AI really is the future, is this how we want to get there? It's a good question. Until next time. Couldn't it's a good you question. Just show them my this, normal good, networks? Well, I, I think overall, yeah, but uh, uh, what have humans done for video. me lately? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Now All right. I'll give that a pass. Facilities. I'll give that a pass. I'm, I'm oh, I guess a little bit on the fence with still this guy's here. Thank content, you so much. Like, to I'll the... tell you what. He's do he must be doing something right. Uh, a million and a half subscribers, and you guys suggested watching it. So, yeah, I'll give that. I'll give that a go. Like that. We'll maybe try that again. You guys put that in there. Look at this DG, and we'll try it next week and see how I feel. You know, it's always different. It's, it's day to day here.